Jim, I'm in citizen's recognition. We've had a number of people sign up to speak. At this time, anyone who wishes to speak, commissioners, anyone who wishes to speak, commissioners, please come up and give your name to the clerk. We'll add your name to our list. Anyone who wishes to speak, county commissioners. Okay. Uh, first person that's asked to speak is Jim Patchy.
contract in the works for King Mountain to assist with that, but that would typically be at the lower insurance rate. I'm speaking on our behalf of our department, we kind of, like I said, I know this has been talked around for going on for three years now, and all of a sudden this was brought up to us on Friday, the one that they're voting on the bringing up tonight, and we didn't know anything about it. We've been informed throughout the process up until now, and then this contract was brought up, we have a few questions about the financial side of it, why it come about, how it come about, who was involved, but we weren't notified of any, any part of this one. And we have agreed to a few things in the past, but all that's not even included in this one. So we, we just felt like this one was kind of pushed in on us and we didn't have a fair say in it being that it's affecting not only our money that comes to us as a fire department, but the other eight departments in the tax service districts as it is, and none of those chiefs were made aware of it either. So we just feel like on the financial side of things, it might need to be uh, re-looked at. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Our next speaker tonight is Doug Sharp. Doug Sharp. Speaker, I'm simply here to support Jim Hatchett with uh, a little complaint that's going on with uh, Jim. I will say that uh, Jim has faced some pretty difficult times in the last several months. And uh, I guess I would ask for extra consideration and uh, maybe a little note of compassion when you consider his item on your desk. Thank you very much. Just as a clarification, 
exactly what uh, Mr. Williams brought up. It does say rabies control there, but rabies control is the technical name of that department within the health department, and that's why rabies control shows up on the line. Uh, Robert, that's just the technical name that, that is used to describe that department and gets the person for not necessarily their function. Um, item F is a budget amendment in the health department for asking you to accept the $29,712 KP Reynolds grant to be used to help clients apply for and receive medications from pharmaceutical suppliers and First of all, I'd like to say we're proud to be here tonight representing the military on the Purple Heart. Let me introduce myself. I'm Mike Stubbs, commander of the military on the Purple Heart, Community Warriors Chapter 634. At this time, I'd like to ask all the MOPX members present to please stand and come forward. Snapper there with us, Tom Fairbrother, the United States Navy, World War II. We represent Purple Heart veterans as well as all veterans who have served our country. Our chapter at this time has 131 members from Gaston, Union, McLemore, Cabarrus, Lincoln, Cleveland, and Rowan counties. We're a very proud and unique group. The military on the Purple Heart is one of the few organizations chartered by Congress. The order to establish the first Purple Heart was issued by George Washington during the Revolutionary War. It was initially created as a badge of military merit in 1782. The Purple Heart and American Declaration is the oldest military declaration in the world in present use. The Purple Heart is specifically a combat declaration. To be a member, you have to be a Purple Heart recipient. The Purple Heart is awarded in the name of the President to members of the Armed Forces of the United States who have been wounded by an instrument of war in the hands of the enemy and posthumously to the next of kin to enable those who are killed in action or die of wounds received in action. Today is in the past. 
The single bond unites members of the order is that each has sustained a wound inflicted by the enemy in combat. The members' common bond is they have given their own blood for their country. The mission of the military world of work of art is to foster an environment of goodwill and camaraderie among combat wounded veterans, promote patriotism, support necessary legislative initiatives, and most importantly, provide service to all veterans and their families. To the Purple Heart County, Cleveland County will be honoring all Purple Heart recipients and all military veterans. All military personnel have a job to do, whether it be a clerk, supply, cook, truck driver, engineer, or infantry. All veterans and current military do what was always asked for them to do it well. The pride of veteran feels when they see this being displayed is a great feeling. If you've ever been anywhere else other than the USA, you know what a great country this is. The veterans are a big reason we can live the way we do in the greatest country on this earth. We know Cleveland County is a very patriotic county. We, the military world of Purple Heart, Wounded Warriors, Chapter 634, consider it an honor that Cleveland County is considering bestowing this honor to all veterans. We know there are Purple Heart veterans in this region that are not in our chapter. We hope that by this proclamation by Cleveland County, that other Purple Heart veterans will come forward and be recognized. We, the MOPA, we work with local high schools. We attend their Junior ROTC award ceremonies and present an MOPA's leadership medal to an outstanding cadet. We meet with the students and talk about military issues and our military experiences. North Carolina recently became a Purple Heart state, only the third in the nation. And we recently worked with Charlotte Motor Speedway, making it the first Purple Heart Super Speedway in the nation. Also, we made the Carolina Regional Medical Center, formerly Gas Memorial, the first Purple Heart Hospital in the nation. Uh, again, for Dick Dunn, uh, we always like to do this. I would again like to ask all veterans to please stand.
Uh, also, I have something special for you, sir. I'd be like, if possible, if we could have all commissioners stand with us. We'd like to have a picture. And I've got something I'd like to give to the uh, committee. Thank you. If I could get the troop there to take one giant step forward. I know that's not military. <laughs> one giant step forward. Commissioners will step behind them. And what I'd like to do is all other veterans who are here with us to come join us.
just uh, thank you for being here tonight. I appreciate it. having parents that are both of them are Navy veterans still here with me today in 1992. I appreciate it. Tom got this. Uh, one of the in the Marines came on the ship one day and said, We're running short of Marines. Uh, we're a Marine now. <laughs> <laughs> we had a, we had a Uh, this is the CIB. It's combat infantry dispatch. 
you've got to have a minimum of 30 days in combat action to receive this patch. And, uh, thank you again. Thank you for the honor of that good county to say the first count. Thank you for that honor. Again, thank you for what you did for our country. And we're still doing the for the country by going around and uh, talking to the county and let people recognize you for what you've done. Uh, Commissioner, any other questions? Thank you and I appreciate you coming. I know I talked to Ron Greenberg when I was at Greenberg about a month or so ago. Uh, thank you for letting uh, get you here and do this. Thank you very much. Research-based information 
on all the areas of family consumer sciences or what used to be home economics so that that covers all of the areas uh, in helping individuals, families, and communities. And I'll just share the mission of NCECA, and that is to strengthen families and communities through leadership development, community action, educational support, and research-based education from North Carolina State University and North Carolina A&T State University. And I'd like to recognize our county council. There are extension uh, ECA clubs throughout the state in all 100 counties in the Cherokee Reservation. Um, and here in Cleveland County, leadership is given through our president-elect, Mrs. Melina Lee, and if you will stand as I call your name. Melinda Lee, the president, our um, secretary, I don't believe the first vice president is here. Uh, Shirley Bridges is the first vice president. She was not able to be here tonight. Uh, secretary, Lorena Richard. Treasurer, Mary Jane Siegel. And our advisor, who is our immediate past president, Jeff Parrish. And then we have members here from, and their spouses, who are also members, uh, and help us with a lot of things within all of the clubs. Um, the Bellwood Club members, if you would stand. And the Boiling Springs Club members who are here. Ellie Jolly members. And then Lawndale, there is a club in Lawndale. Um, and then, as I said, the spouses also, who was help us with lots of things from their booths and, and all kinds of uh, even service to the community because ECA is always um, each year that we do a plan of work that changes each year and there is a lot of community outreach um, and our extension staff Linda Lemons our administrative assistant and Greg Frederick our CD as the Family Consumer Sciences agent are part of the, the team, really. It's a full team. Uh, so this group does a lot of volunteering. Uh, right now, one of our groups um, is with the Broad River Grandparents Raising Grandchildren Support Group that meets monthly, and the ECA members provide monthly support uh, and through a book club and so forth. So. Real familiar with the food processing service they do. So, <laughs> a lot of good cooks out there won't go eat again. <laughs> well, we had an invitation coming to you for our uh, annual achievement luncheon, which will be on Friday, November the 8th. So if you'll save the date and we'll get our invitations to you. We'll we'll get some more. We can say this on something. <laughs> <laughs> so, and we are also doing a centennial cookbook so that we'll be sharing and really trying to preserve some of those heritage recipes that are um, we don't want to get lost. Oh we love to our committee members are right here so yes and as you know the cooks are also right here very good cooks. The only thing I'm more worried about is what year you're not going to show up. <laughs> I hope it's going to be every year that I'm here. And we hope so too, because the ECA is uh, always changing and uh, keeping up with uh, the current needs and, and interests of the county. This is a resolution honoring Cleveland County Extension and Community Association on the 100th anniversary of the 
state organization. Whereas in 1911, James S. McKimmon became the first North Carolina home demonstration agent, and the Board of Commissioners in 1915 hired Ms. Susan Elliott Weather as the first home agent in Cleveland County. And whereas beginning in 1913, tomato clubs, evolving to home demonstration clubs, were formed to work alongside the home agents to improve the quality of rural life and help the state prevail during the Great Depression and two world wars. And whereas the Board of Commissioners took a significant step on December 2nd, 1946, when they voted to hire the first Negro farm agent and Negro home agent, Miss Adelaide C. Moorhead. Miss Moorhead began working with the Negro families on January 1st, 1947. And whereas North Carolina Federation of Home Demonstration Clubs and the State Council of Negro Home Demonstration Clubs merged into one organization and became the North Carolina Extension Homemakers Association in 1966 and North Carolina Extension and Community Association in 1999. And whereas Extension and Community Association is organized in all of North Carolina's 100 counties and with the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. And whereas from its modest beginnings, Extension and Community Association has grown into a diverse statewide organization of adult volunteers supporting the professional extension staff from North Carolina's two land-grant universities, North Carolina Agricultural and Technical University in Greensboro and North Carolina State University in Raleigh. And whereas Extension and Community Association views the family in, its, in all its diverse forms as a cornerstone of a healthy society and provides research-based programming to support families, Whereas this association and its many volunteers continue today to partner with North Carolina Cooperative Extension to empower individuals and families to improve their quality of living through continu continuing education, leadership development, and community service. Whereas North Carolina Extension and Community Association will be celebrating its centennial anniversary formally on October 27, 2013 and throughout 2013. Now, therefore, the Cleveland County Board of Commissioners do hereby recognize and honor North Carolina Extension and Community Association volunteers and liaison agents for their steadfast dedication, past and present, to the improvement of quality of life for families in North Carolina and Cleveland County, and congratulate the North Carolina Extension and Community Association on the attainment of its centennial anniversary. If adopted, this 
three houses to begin with had to replace them. Um, a couple of people went to death or murdered. Um, we had contractors that were killed during the process and sat back and everything. You cannot just spend, if we, if we can spend $90,000, the only way the county can do something at this point is to apply for an extension with commerce. And you have to apply now because you've already met, you've already missed some of the deadlines. You don't do it now. And then to apply for it, you need to be able to be ready and under contract by January. So you're going to need to get all those in place. And at this point, we interviewed and made an application, and we didn't have anybody that qualified for the $19,000. If we could have used it for urgent repair money, that would have been a difference. Because then you could have put $5,000 here, $5,000. The Congress will not let you switch the money from the house to urgent repair.
So I will begin by briefly reviewing this. Again, this incentive agreement is made between Cleveland County Capital Investment Associates to LLC. The company, Capital Investments Associates, intends to construct